Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. And today we are going over how to stabilize footage if you didn't see it in the title or, you know, see the beginning video. And uh, before I jump into that, let me just ask you guys please like the video. It helps us out so much. And I know, like, we hate asking for likes and stuff, but it helps out so much. It's crazy. Like, the difference between us asking and you know, us not asking is just insane. So please like this video and share it, favorite it, do whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to be putting this project file up anyway for both and all the footage. So there's your bribe, I guess, even though it's not a bribe, I'm giving it to you anyway. And uh, oh yeah, and if you were wondering where I was last week, uh, I was sick. So thanks for wondering though. Yeah, I was very sick. I had a cough. I tried filming the tutorial on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I just could barely even talk. So I ended up not making it. I'm very sorry about that. But yeah, let's jump into the tutorial now. So uh, we are learning how to stabilize footage and we're going to start with uh, Sony Vegas. So let me just drag this in here real quick. I'm just dragging dropping some stock footage in. This is from when Brandon and I were uh, filming for my brother-in-law he owns a boot camp program thing where like he takes large people and he makes them skinny and we are doing a commercial for him so that's what this footage is from if you were wondering I'm just gonna do a quick edit on this one because it's very long uh, I'm gonna just go right about here and I'm gonna hit S to split it and then I'm gonna go right about here just to keep it small and there you go so and I'm also going to delete the, the audio just because we don't need that. So check it out. This footage is slightly bouncing. And so is the beginning footage. You see that? And that's because it's just regular handheld. You know, it just happens when you're holding the camera. But it would look better if it was just, you know, very stationary. So to do that in Sony Vegas, it's so easy. Just right click on the footage, go up to Stabilize Media and you have all these presets so you can either choose one of these presets they work great you know like all these you know if you have just general medium analysis like handheld camera like really we could use one of these like just a slow mo moving scene or something but I usually just uh, there's one setting for everything I usually use that it just works for everything so I put this up to the the notch right under best see there's only one more notch and then I put the pan and, and tilt stabil I can't talk. I'm nervous. Pan slash tilt stabilization all the way up to 60. Same with roll stabilization all the way up to 60. And I leave these two alone. And this seems to work for everything. Just hit uh, apply and it will do the little render screen. And it might take your computer a little longer. Uh, my computer is a beast. So yeah, now look at it perfectly still look at that well I mean it, it goes a little, a little bit up and if you can't notice uh, it, I'm just gonna hit control Z so you can see you see that it zooms in a bit with the effect applied this is it without the effect you see and then I'm gonna hit control shift Z to redo it and uh, it, it zooms in a bit that's just to compensate for the little edge that it creates because uh, if, if it didn't do that you would see black bars up here from the footage bouncing around so that little zoom it's not even that bad and uh, same thing with this let's do it real quick stabilize media oh yeah check this out so when you edit a a piece like if if you edit a piece down and then you want to stabilize it it'll say hey caution you know you're only gonna be editing this 22 percent so if you do the stabilization and then you you scroll it out only this part will be stabilized so just make sure you have your final cut before you do the stabilization okay hit yes and uh, we're just gonna do not the settings we're gonna just do it up check this out it goes to the render window once again and boom look at that perfectly stable it's amazing uh, so easy so much easier than <laughs> After Effects like I gotta give it to Sony Vegas right here this is just amazing and uh, you guys might want to see, you know, one of the presets or something. So I just hit Control Z so I can use one of these presets. Let's do handheld camera, fast moving scene, and just see how it looks, you know, compared to what we already did. 
It's taking a bit longer, which is uh, strange. Let's see. <clears throat> and it's still a little bouncy. That's weird. So I guess my settings just are way better. I guess I'm just the best, you know? And uh, now I already know what you guys are wondering. Eli, what if I stuck crack up my butt and I freaking filmed a scene and could not hold the camera still? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. If you have something like this, it's not going to turn out very well, all right? So maybe uh, film the next day once the crack in your butt cools down or something. Um, watch. I'll, I'll just prove it to you, okay? Um, let's, let's even go, let's start with this. Rescue extremely shaky footage. Okay. Let's see if it even, uh, you know, puts a dent in it. I, I doubt it will. <laughs> yeah see and I was about to get to that guys um well here let's do my mine because it still does a better job than that don't use the presets guys just use mine right the knots under 60 60 don't mess with those two and apply it does a way better job on everything and it's a lot faster too okay guys now I'm gonna tell you about something called the jello effect check out what's going on here you see that weird waviness that's going on in the footage kinda like it's a, it's a piece of jello well that happens because if you check out the the original footage look at that it's just so jaggedy and just insanely tough to even see that the camera meshes together the pixels and so it's not even its fault really it's it's the footage the footage that when you had to crack up your butt it just made it so insanely unusable that the stabilization can't even save it so my suggestion to you is to try to keep it as steady as possible when it's handheld and I guarantee that your shots will come out way better like this they may be zoomed in a little bit but they'll come out pristine and beautiful so yeah that's the jello effect that's uh, not even after effects can fix this guys so just a little helpful hint try not to go crazy okay all right, so now let's do the After Effects portion. Now let's just drag and drop this footage. I'm only going to do one just because it's so easy in After Effects, and you have a lot more control. So hopefully I don't have to explain this to you, how to create a new composition by now. I'd be ashamed. Be like, like you guys haven't learned anything over the past, you know, couple videos I've made. Let's just call this boob. I don't know why, because I'm immature and just silly. So if you don't have the tracker options down here, you just go to Window, and you select Tracker. See, I don't have it down there anymore. You just go to Window, Tracker, and it'll pop up. Go to Stabilize Motion. Now let's zoom in. When you're doing this in After Effects, you need to pick a point that stays in the, in the video the whole entire time. So, and make sure that's also high contrast. It's the same thing as tracking motion. If you guys haven't seen that tutorial, I'll put a put a picture up here it was one of my earlier tutorials and I I'm telling you guys I'm not very good at tutorials but um, so yeah don't don't go too hard on me but it's pretty much the same concept you wanna pick a high contrast area make this part small the 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 selection small in the middle then you wanna make the search area way bigger like like out here it'll, it'll take a little bit of time but you'll get way better results so I'm gonna go to the beginning of the footage just make sure I'm at the beginning then you're gonna hit this analyze forward and uh, you can also do it by frames but analyzing it forward is just way easier so yeah I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna bring you guys back when it's done okay so see you soon alright guys welcome back basically I just uh, finished tracking the footage you see that and I picked a good spot it didn't screw up at all and what I mean by screw up is if you zoom in here or I'll zoom in a little bit out basically um, what might have happened to you guys if you guys are having issues is it'll get to a point and then it'll just like jump over here or jump somewhere when that happens you need to hit spacebar immediately you need to backtrack using the the analyze uh, one frame back and basically just you need to just zoom in and you need to put the point like the tracker you need to put it where it's supposed to be automatically then you can keep going forward and uh, at that point if I were you I would just analyze one frame at a time from then on because you might not have as good footage or you didn't pick a good point so 
Um, my suggestions are, you know, do it frame by frame or try to find a different point. So continuing on with the tutorial now, make sure that uh, you have the track type to stabilize and only on position because normally in footage that's all you need and if you click these other ones it'll screw everything else up. So yeah, just make sure that everything is set to the defaults, then hit apply. Then hit OK with X and Y. And boom, you're done. Looks great. Uh, nothing's wrong with this now. So <laughs> I'm such a bad joker. I don't know why I do that. But um, yeah, it, in Sony Vegas, you saw it zoom in. And if it didn't zoom in, this is what you would have saw. Let's just make it black. This is exactly what you would have seen. Would have been all bouncy and confusing. So... Uh, something that I notice is right away it jerked so I'm just gonna get rid of that beginning part so I don't even have to deal with that I'm gonna trim comp to work area so now I'm dealing with it just right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the boob layer because I wanna get rid of that black correct so I'm gonna hit S for scale I'm gonna scale it up just like, in I, just like it did in Sony Vegas uh, maybe a little bit a little bit more and then push it down a little bit and now it's way easier to keep it scaled like this there is another way around it guys that I will show you I'll scale it down just a bit just so I, it gets a little bit of black in it so sometimes some black will appear actually it's still a little too good um, let's just say that it's unavoidable that you can't zoom in and that you need some of that black showing sometimes so my suggestion would be to get rid of it like only the points that is necessary I don't need that last back part so I'm gonna trim comp once again so it just gets rid of that insanely big black spot down there which is not racist um, <laughs> so here's what you're gonna wanna do to uh, we're gonna put something called motion tile on okay guys so I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna, cl we're gonna click uh, motion tile is it called no, it's not called that. What is it called? Hmm. What's the effect called? I forget. Uh, this is why I should practice my tutorials before I do them. Stylize. Oh, there it is, right there. Motion tile. I guess it was. I guess it was called motion tile. I'm an idiot. Um, we're gonna hit mirror edges, and then we're going to output the width. Yeah, the width to like 120, and the height to like 120 and it should just fix it and do a good enough job to cover it enough to the point where it's not like oh my goodness you know that's crazy if someone wasn't looking at it then they wouldn't or if some, <laughs> someone wasn't looking at it, it's a video so you guys may be so nervous if someone wasn't like paying close attention they wouldn't notice that you put an effect on to cover that up down there you see I mean it's not too bad it's not the best that's why the scaling option is way better but this is just another option if it's unavoidable you can do this and since I it's kind of a complex scene with grass like that's why it didn't work too good most of the time it works pretty well so yeah that's uh, that's basic motion tracking in both uh, Sony Vegas and After Effects and you know what I never really show me rendering anything so I'm gonna scale this up a bit just because I it works better on this one um, yeah so scaled it up a bit now let's go to composition make movie then we're going to go to lossless we're gonna go to quick time and just so your just so your files aren't insanely big make sure you're on photo JPEG right here you see that photo JPEG uh, quality at best hit OK and you can include audio if you want it's not necessary for what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna hit OK and uh, output to desktop we're gonna call this boob after effects save and then we're gonna hit render and while that's rendering it's gonna go really quick um, let's just render out this one okay let's go to file render as and let's call this boob Sony Vegas and this is uh, my new render settings that I'm using uh, this is 
I, I, I'd never looked this up before. Um, there's something called H... Oh, I love that sound, by the way. But there's something called H264, guys. It's my favorite codec, and I thought Sony Vegas didn't have it, but there is a version of Sony Vegas that... A version of H.264 that Sony Vegas can render so go to Sony AVC slash MVC then we're gonna go to custom and just make sure your settings are at AVC high def high all this stuff you know just read it and then make the bitrate 18 million I don't know why that reminded me of Austin Powers but yeah hit OK and then we're gonna render this too and this is a way better codec. This is going to be way smaller. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys the different file sizes real quick. And then after that, I can say goodbye. And then you guys can see what you created. And once again, I'm going to sh put all this stuff in a uh, download for you guys. So let's go to properties. Okay, so this is only 10 megabytes and the the H264 and it's really good quality and we're gonna go properties this one is hundred and twenty one megabytes isn't that just crazy guys and I will give a comparison with both of these at the very end so you guys can see so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys learned something about stabilizing footage and such and hopefully uh, wasn't such a bad tutorial uh, we love you guys so much and thanks so much for all the support you guys give us and uh, you will see me next Friday, and you will see a tutorial from Brandon on Tuesday. So just, you know, keep the good times rolling, you know, as the old folks say. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys like my, my background? Look how cool this is. Leave a comment saying, uh, leave a comment saying Minecraft poop is a beast series if you uh, lasted this long, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, so last thing that I wanted to bring up is it's Brandon's birthday today. So, happy birthday Brandon. And everyone else that is watching this, please leave a comment on like one of our old videos or just spam all of our videos. I don't care. Just tell Brandon that you love him and happy birthday. Show him that you guys like really appreciate what he does because he's awesome. And uh, yeah, so with that, I guess I'll say goodbye and I will see you next Friday. Later.